We're about to demonstrate Ideal Web Reader, which is a very advanced gesture-based browser that is designed for individuals who are blind, individuals with low vision, and people who have other types of print disabilities. In fact, you just might want to use it as your standard browser, just for the heck of it. The icon you'll notice in the bottom right is the picture of the Android logo with a white background. And I'm going to touch the logo Loading. and load the demo. It said Text loading. Speech demonstration with accessible browser. You can program your own gestures with this browser, which I'll show you in a moment. But let me just show you how the gestures work. Every time you do a swipe of the screen, you get a tactile feedback in the way of a vibration. So an individual who is blind, for example, will know that their gesture took. I'm going to swipe from left to right. This is a demo of Ideal Group's fully accessible Android browser, Ideal Web Reader. Ideal Web Reader has a ton of settings that help individuals with print disabilities. We can also just command it to read from the top of a page down to the bottom of the page by a counterclockwise circle. So I'm going to draw a counterclockwise circle. Users can fully customize how this browser reads web pages. I can read alternate text tags. For example, photo of the White House with a fountain in the foreground. I've now stopped the speech by stroking down and let's say I want more granularity and I want to have the browser read me each word one at a time. If I do an upside down check mark, sentence. it's going to read by sentence. If I do it again, word. it's going to read by word. So let's try reading again. Photo. If I wanted to continue reading one word at a time, I do the counterclockwise circle. Of the white house with a fountain in. And I can swipe down. And let's move up to sentence level. Sentence. Let's read again. My text to speech settings are customizable. And I'm stroking down to stop the browser from reading. You'll notice the highlighted area, black on yellow. We call that um, a lens. So when we go into settings and you see the word lens, you will know what we're talking about as compared to the actual text and background color of the web page that we are viewing. I'm going to press menu, which will take us to settings and we can look at some of the settings for this application. Remember I mentioned the black on yellow area is called the lens. You can either opt to use the lens or not. It will highlight the text of the web page without the lens, but the lens can be used to increase the size of the text to alter the foreground and background colors. The font size also has a lot of selections from tiny to huge. We will click cancel and we'll continue scrolling up. You can change the line spacing and the word spacing and the letter spacing in this browser. Doing so can accommodate the needs of some individuals with certain types of print disabilities. As we scroll down more, you can command the application to ignore the alt text for the images. You may not want that read. You can actually load images, which will give you the opportunity to view an image in a magnified way uh, using one of our other free applications. Define My Gestures is designed to prompt the user with a function and then that user enters a gesture. Draw the gesture for next. Ah, the gesture for next. Normally I would swipe straight across from left to right. It would ask me to do it again. I'd swipe it and we would then have programmed the gesture uh, for next. We have TTS settings also. The TTS settings basically lets you pick the uh, TTS engine 
then the voice within the engine, and the language. You can also set the speech rate. With eSpeak, there are 37 languages available. You can also use the free Google S Fox Pico voices, of which there are six available in American English, British English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. For more information, please visit mywirelessreview.com.